Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Mind Over Matter with Sanket. In this episode, we'll be talking about being prepared for your death. Now this might sound scary and you might say that this is not something that needs to be discussed. But if you think of it, the fear of death is the biggest fear. Because no matter what small fear you have, if you go on and on looking for more reasons for your fear, at the end you'll find out that it's actually the fear of death. So many meditators and spiritual practitioners, what they do is they meditate and contemplate on the concept of death. You might have heard of people talking about experiencing death before actually dying so that you can be very well prepared for your death. Now let's say someone tells you that today is the last day of the world for you. What would you do? What would you do to make your last day the best day? You could probably go to some amusement park or you could possibly meet your close friends or family members. Now just because it's said to you that it's your last day, it's not really realistic to be able to do everything that you want to, but at least you can do a few things that you really want to do. Now what the Stoicism philosophy says and also what many spiritual practitioners say is that if you want to make the most out of your life, you should always realize that death is coming in your way. Because it is inevitable, everyone dies. We generally take time for granted because we think we have a lot of it remaining. We think that the possible cause of death for us will only be old age and that we have a lot of time remaining in this world. We see dreams for the future. We have many wishes and desires that we want to fulfill but only at a time in the future, far into the future. But do you realize that we might not live up to that age and we might not actually be able to fulfill our desires of the future? So the essence of this philosophy is that you need to live every day as if it were the last day on earth. What this means is that you should do everything that you actually want to do even if it's difficult. Take it as a momentary struggle because you will not have to work hard all the time. If you work hard for a short amount of time, you will get your rewards and no matter when you die, you can die peacefully. Another interesting concept that I read somewhere is that after each day finishes, whenever you go to sleep at night, just assume that you are dying tonight. This does many things to your brain. First of all, it helps you let go of all the tensions that you have. You do not really pay heed. You start to understand that the past, the events of the past are not that significant for you. And also that the desires that you have for your future are also not that important. We discussed the dangers of dwelling in the past and the future in our previous two videos. In our previous videos of Mind Over Matter. Make sure that you check them out. So yes, every night when you go to sleep, if you try to visualize that you're dying tonight, you feel a lot more relaxed and also you gain a different perspective on life. You start valuing every moment and you start enjoying every single thing you do, no matter how insignificant a task may seem when you think that you have a very long life. When you start thinking that you have a short life and that it may end any time, you start valuing every moment and you start valuing your relationship with every single person. This makes your life a lot more happier and you get rid of most of your tensions. Because think of it, when you realize the fact that you're a mortal creature and that someday or the other you're going to die, all of your other fears become insignificant. Because as I said earlier, all of your fears accumulate to the fear of death. Let's take an example. Let's say you have the fear of not getting the dream job that you want. Why do you have that fear? Because you start visualizing the things that you do when you get that job. Now when you do not get that job, even if you do some other job, you'll be unhappy. So you'll always be looking for one job and the other job. And if you are jobless at some point, you will not be able to sustain your life. That is, you'll not get enough food and you'll not be able to get a shelter for yourself. Now what does that lead to? That will lead to you being sick. And what does that eventually lead to? That leads to you dying. Now one way or the other, everyone dies. So it is not up to us 
whether we want to die early or late. Now, some deaths occur naturally, but for the other cases, you really do not know what can happen because you do not know what every moment is going to bring. So when you realize that one way or the other, it's, the, it's eventually the same place that everyone is going to, all of your problems in life become a lot more insignificant. And whatever you have, you start valuing it. Because when you tend to think that you have a lot of time remaining, it is very natural for you to just not give your best and just try to live a very mediocre life. But when you realize that the time is limited and that the things that you can do, what you can contribute to this world is limited, you start being more wary of your time and you become more frugal about your time. Recently I've been reading about finances and how people are frugal and they save a lot of money. But as I research, I realized that the only resource that you should be most frugal with is your time. You should be able to say no to other people if you have some major goal that you want to accomplish. When you know that you're dying soon, you'll become a lot more aware on this perspective. You will stop wasting your time and you'll start valuing each and every second. You'll make sure that you do only those things that make you very happy and make your soul very satisfied. I found this to be a very interesting perspective so I wanted to share it with you all here at Sound Health Solutions. If you like this video, do not forget to press the like button. Also, if you like whatever is happening here at Sound Health Solution, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We will be coming up with similar contents in the future. Until next time.